she's a Mona Lisa. Hello everyone. So before we get into my workflow here, I wanted to give a quick background of why I am doing this. Firstly, many of you guys voted for 12 hour study video and secondly, I had a big test coming up for which I had to revise a lot of stuff and I thought it would be a good idea to try to do them all in just one day. So here we are. So here I am doing uh, like the note taking stuff if you are new to my channel you might not know but if you watch my videos you know this is always the first thing that i do in the morning because my system works the best in the morning i am a morning person and as you can see i did sit for one and a half hour in a go without taking any rest i uh, made the notes notes i revised them and then eventually also gave a revision test on those notes so my one and 30 minutes of the morning went really well also taking a revision test just after you have done a particular topic really helps you to retain that topic for a long time this is called active recall method and if you don't do it already try it once and you will know it works miraculously so i have successfully completed one hour 35 minutes then i took like a half an hour break i had my breakfast had a bath and now i'm going to sit back and do a bit of chemistry for like half an hour or something and then i have to oh, maybe exercise a bit and take a long break of one hour and then we will get back to studying and hopefully complete 12 hours So for the second session, I started doing chemistry numericals, again the mole concept thing, uh, mostly because I was done with most of the zoology and I needed a bit of change. So I have a quick task for you guys. If you could count the number of cups of coffee I had in this video and comment it down below. Because I, I promise I don't drink coffee a lot. I avoid drinking it uh, if it's not important but this particular day you guys you will know so i completed chemistry and it's been two hours that I'm studying and it's right now it's 10. Uh, I woke up at 6 so it's been four hours and I don't know where the other two hours went. It's kind of scary but anyways I am going to come back to study from 11 and we'll see what we have to do. So I do this lamb thing whenever I'm not willing to sit down and study. Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel fancy and calm and it did give up on me really soon but it's okay. Here I was doing animal tissue from zoology, the last chapter. I actually uh, have learned these notes before but I was just revising them because I had to for the test and then eventually I also did the exercises and a revision test on the same topic. And oh my god, after I was done with zoology, I was so not willing to continue studying anymore. I just did 4 hours and I was already done. I was like, this is my limit, I am not going any further. But I had to push it. So as I told you, I was at my limit and I was not willing to move a muscle anymore. So I decided to do something that was interesting and productive as well. So I used the study technique of flashcards and I got to know about this app named Anki where you can make your flashcards digitally. So I will talk about this later in the video and in my upcoming videos as well.
I was legit trying to pull a stunt. I had no idea if I would survive or not, and I'm not overreacting. I was so burned by this point. So I made it till 4 p.m. and now I have like three uh three hours of online class to attend. That will make like nine hours completed, and then three more hours to go. So I think. I'll be able to do the twelve hours. Yeah, so I'm running late for my class. So the phone I was using for the timer ran out of charge, so I cannot use it here. But I know the classes were of three hours, so I'm just going to add it. in the subtotal okay i hope that's fine also it was so difficult for me to focus in my class i was because i was so tired and that's the reason i don't like studying one hour before my class i like to sit with a fresh mind so i can concentrate after my class was over i really needed a break so i uh, read this book for like half an hour Now if you guys are wondering I did take breaks uh, multiple times during the day I did not shoot them because I was not really doing anything I was just lying on my bed or using my phone in those so yeah It was like around 9 when I started doing physics numericals because uh, at night time I am sure that I would have not been able to learn anything theoretical like zoology or botany so the only options left for me were making flash card and doing physics so I did physics for one hour and then flash cards for another hour now finally coming at the conclusion sharing my experience Was I able to complete 12 hours? Yes. Will I do it ever again? Never, never in my darkest dreams. Why? Because I was so drained throughout the days in my opinion, uh it doesn't matter for how long I study. What matters is how much I study in those hours. So yeah, kudos to those who can study for 12 hours every day. I am not that person for sure. So I hope you like this video. It really took me a lot of strength, took my soul away. So please if you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye. Mm -hmm.